quite sure what you're doing. If they didn't describe it. Sure. What, what we did is uh, the material that you got in the bucket here is just too, it's too thick. It sounds kind of counterintuitive. It's too thick to see any water. Uh, you want it to be thinner. Generally for bio solids, we uh, we don't like it a whole lot thicker than 10% solid. That's my guess is that's probably up to about 10%. Um, so I diluted down into this actually four parts of water to two parts of, uh, so double the amount of uh, water to what's in this bucket. Then basically put a known amount, 150 mils in here. Uh, when I made these polymers, I made them down to half percent solution, so it was one mil of the polymer into 200 mils of water. And then, which is normal, you have to make down polymers, you can't feed them neat. So we use make down chemical feed systems and we can rent into the project. Uh, you don't have to buy the systems. Um, so, so what's the science that you're using? I mean, I'm sure. This, this, oh, okay. What's sure. science or I mean, what are you trying to do? Sure, this, this is a cationic flocculant. Basically what you have are a lot of solids that are negatively charged in here. So okay. if you think of a bunch of negative magnets on the table, they're all repelling each other and don't want to come together. Mm -hmm. This, what we're doing is throwing a bunch of positive magnets on the table that allow, that match up with the negative magnets, allow them to all kind of feel good coming together. And then these, the polymer also has a real high molecular weight, so it's real long strand. That, uh, if you think about when it comes in the drum like this, they're big, huge balls of yarn that have to be unraveled. So when we make them down in the water, they unravel. Now they can encapsulate all those solids and sweep them together. And basically, what you're doing is charge neutralization and sweeping. So you're starting a cake baking process or a jello making process. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Jello. You just want to make the solids large, larger than the apparent opening size of the fabric, so the solids will stay in but get the water and nothing go through. Yep. Just to kind of show you what we're doing. Okay. This is your raw sample, like he's got there. You're adding polymer to it. You see how it grabs all the particles, holds them all together, and lets the water separate. And this is your water afterward. Now, this is at a dairy, so that's why it's You see here, this is a waste water. So once this uh, fabric seated, this team make a note break. Cut the lapse room just how the house separate. Look before we put it in and afterwards. Okay. And they kind of stand together. So what we'll do in the lab. When we, we'll generate a report for you, if you send us the samples into our lab, and we'll test this cake, and we can do it over time. If we do a cone test, we'll let it sit for a day, two days a week, identify what we think the endpoint dryness will be and how long it takes to get to that endpoint dryness. So that'll help us with understanding, you know, when, when you'll hit paint filter, if that's what your goal is, uh, to haul the stuff, get it out of there. Uh, and how long it's going to take to get to that point. Um, so we can tell you the percent solids and then from this, if you told us you have so many in situ cubic yards of this solid material in the bottom of your pond, um, and the way we have to dilute this down and all that, we can tell you how many gallons will have to be pumped, what the dilution rate would be for the drip dredge to try to um, achieve while it's pumping it. Um, and from there we can do an estimator tell you how many tubes this material will take up, what the compaction is, uh, what the volumes are. From there then we put together a full proposal on chemistry, tubes, and what have you. If you don't have a dredge to slurry the material, you can take it to a mixing tank or slurry it.
what's the next step? What do you want to try to do? Contest, right? Contest, do a larger size contest. So if we, if we just put this stuff through through one of your sieves, I'll just call it a sieve. Without the flocculant, it would be a mess. It would. It would it'll just, just it'll just flow yeah. through. It'll flow through. Why don't you? Can you pull one? Through? See how, how dark, dirty it is. It, it just comes out the same. Well, not only that, but it'll blind off yeah. the tube too. Right. See, it's not draining now. But you'll have it'll have liquid sitting in there as well. Okay. And it'll it'll take forever. Be a large. It'll be like a large. It's what we bag. call a huge mess. <laughs> but if you get it right, should we treat all of this and do a contest? You want something to capture, to, uh, capture the water? And, 